YouTube. It's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. We got 10 more at you smacking you right in the face today. So, uh, I've got a new microphone. I won't say no. I got my old microphone back out of storage. Let me know if you think things are sounding better on your side or worse. We can go back to the way it was before. Okay, guys, we're probably going to try to hit you with about 10, 12, 14. Just depends on how you want to count these. First one you see on the screen here, I'm going to get out of the way up front. It's called a uh, Adaptive Color uh, Alerts. And what this does is it makes your colors the same color as your, of your wallpaper. But it does have some customizations in it. If you want to come in here to the settings and go down to the bottom here, we'll go over to Adaptive Color Alerts. And you can see that it is for iOS 10, and you can got some different things you can you can customize in here. Your wallpaper uh, to make it look more like your wallpaper. If you want your alerts that pop up on your screen to appear that way, pretty cool little tweak. Uh, another one right here is called Blord. What this does is it adds the uh, black keyboard right here. It's sort of a subtle black, if you want to call it black, uh, system wide. That way you don't have that big bright white keyboard knocking you in the face right off the bat when you do a uh, open up messages or something of an app uh, kill background 10 another cool tweak it's been updated for iOS 10 we got a lot of, of tweaks coming on board guys uh, kill background 10 right here and it's got a lot of different customizations but one of the primary reasons I wanted to install this is is it prevents you from being able to delete uh, you see when you're you're uh, I'm sorry about all the notifications, but um, shit, god damn, uh, come on now, uh, now I'm rattled, oh motherfucker, uh, kill background 10, It'll, it, it prevents you from being able to delete uh, apps, you know, if you've got kids, or maybe you're a big kid and don't want to uh, delete your apps accidentally by putting it in your pocket, and I have done that before. Uh, that is something that I have been uh, known to do is uh, put my phone in my pocket and accidentally put it in wiggle mode and delete things I didn't want deleted. Another cool one here while we're in here looking in notes. Prediction prediction shortcuts. Uh, this adds copy and paste up here in your uh, bar. You don't have all that uh, native stock stuff. It, another cool one here is called iProtect. Now, you have to start it off with a password, and I've entered four zeros, one, two, three, four, and then go enter, and right here you get 10 free days to try it out. If you want to buy it, then you have to buy it, but it is free at the moment, so depending on how you want to look at it, whether you want to call this one a free one or not, but what I like about it is you can actually set up which particular uh, apps that you protect. So you can turn on the uh, fingerprint scanner and all that bunch of hoopla, but I don't really like it. But anyway, if you go in here and you turn on I protect, you can t hmm, one, two, three, four, and you go one, two, three, four. What the fuck? One, two, three, four. All right, now system applications right here. If I wanted to protect my calculator, I, I would toggle this on, and then when I come back out here and try to open up my calculator, it's going to ask me for a password. So if you want to password protect your photos or something like that, very, very cool to have. Uh, or, me or your messages app. It, it adds another layer of protection to your phone, guys. And definitely one I think you would like to have. Another one here is another quick and easy one is called alarm control and what this does is it just lets you toggle on all your alarms at one time. So if, if you're going to have all of your alarms going on and off at the same time, uh, why the fuck would you want to do that? But I won't have no idea. But anyway, another one up here in the status bar, get rid of all that AM PM stuff. That's called hide meridium. Another cool one. Um, another, another one we've seen. Uh, in previous jailbreaks is called I widgets and what you do is come over here and hold your finger on the screen and then you get a pop-up you should get a pop-up uh, apologize guys uh, bloopers and there we go you can install other widgets from Cydia like weather clock 
oh man they got hundreds of different things you can install right there but anyway it's a cool way to add widgets to your springboard home screens stuff like that makes it a real nice customizable way to uh, add things to your device you know i widgets just come on board too um auto let's see what we got here i can't even read my auto launch uh this one is if you have a uh, application you're inside of and it crashes on you then it will automatically launch it back up without you having to do that very very cool one um another one here that we can show you down here is called um little emoji i think maybe that's what it is it actually gets rid of that uh, icon for the uh, speaker on your keyboard to where you can speak and, and, and puts the emoji here to where it's right there on your springboard. I'm not your springboard, but your keyboard. And that way you don't have to actually hit uh, another key or choose the keyboard. But you can also turn off the emoji keyboard using this tweak if you don't want to by going into settings and going down here to your emoji right here emoji key i told you wrong it's called emoji key is what it's called um and right here you can turn on and off things for the the keyboard you can skip the emoji keyboard if you don't want to use it and you know they can turn it on turn it off however you want to do it it's going to be totally left up to you now here's one you definitely want to try called grasshopper what it does is it allows you to have picture in a picture and I really just can't believe that this one is free, uh, but but it is. So I'm going to turn that off right there. Sorry about that. You see, you get this little button right here inside the this, this screen here. Now, and you see right here now, you got picture in a picture. Works really nice. Really good. And I'm thinking that only works for the, right now on the iPhone, I don't, I'm not, I'm thinking that they got that ready for the iPad yet. But that's a cool tweak too, guys. Uh, I know I'll run through these pretty fast today, but I was trying to pick up the pace. Guys, hope those help you out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Share this video. It really helps me a great deal. And keep coming back.